Okay, we're going to do an unboxing of the Sony 3D display. And just so you know what I paid for it. This is what I paid for it. If it will focus. Because, uh, Future Shop had $200 off, but they were sold out, so I got a London drug to price match me, and that's what I paid, $2.99 plus tax. So that's why you can see the London drug sticker here. So we're going to open this, I got my, my knife here. Okay, so on the front, you got your motor storm apocalypse that comes with it, your HDMI cable, and you get the new improved glasses that are rechargeable. And you charge them on top here. You open the little clip and you charge them. On top, it just shows the 3D display motor storm again. Okay, on the bottom, nothing, just probably warm trademark logos and whatnot. So, we open it. I'll show you the back before I open it. That might help. Give me one sec, I'll fix the lighting situation. All right, so, turn this on. So we got a 3D display with, with Siamy view. Basically, if you have two pairs of glasses, two people can see the 3D image of what they're playing. So if I'm racing with uh, this car and he's racing with the truck, he can see the truck and I can see the car and we won't get the 3D mixed up whatnot. Uh, full HD 1080p, this, uh, 3 in 1 display, it's like every TV. You can hook it up to your PlayStation, your, you can hook up to a cable box, through HDMI, you can hook it up to computer HDMI. It does full 3D, not simulated. Well, it does simulated and full. Depends on the device. A full 240 hertz. And the 3D does work in 1080p. Uh, down here, you, you, you see a component, two HDMIs and a headphone jack. Slim design. A subwoofer. And the speakers on the side. And all the buttons, like the menu buttons, the volume buttons, on the back of the TV. Okay, so I got one side open. Open this. Let's get this out of the way. Let's throw that over there. So there's the inside, which includes your motor storm apocalypse. Here's your HDMI cable. And this is 1.4 because this is uh, HDMI 1.4 because on the little writing it says it has intern. Ethernet built in, which is internet, and only HDMI 1.4 has that. So note, this is a 1.4 cable and supports high speed 3D. So that goes in. Nothing here except slim power cord, because it doesn't consume a lot of power. Put that to the side. 
here's the stand, two piece stand I believe. You put the little bracket on. I'll show you in a minute. Once I get it out of the box. Yeah, basically you take this stand, this mounting bracket, you mount it on this end, and then you mount the TV on top. Simple, simple. Information guide. The only info you might want to know is about the 3D glasses and maybe the stand, maybe. Because people who buy this usually know how to hook this up, set it up. In this box, I believe, it might be the 3D glasses. Take a look. Here's your charge cable and here's the 3D glasses. Let's open this up. Here's the new improved. They're really, really light actually. The nose piece, uh, you can't really adjust it, but it's uh, it's rubber. The sides don't extend, I believe. These folds are compact. And here's your charge cable. You flip this up. And you put the charge cable here. First, when you get this, I, I've read, charge these glasses for about an hour to two hours. Actually, no, I'm wrong. Charge it for uh, like five minutes and you'll get five hours of play. Each minute is an hour of play. And the on button up here, and the LED indicator right beside it to indicate if you have the glasses on or off because you don't want to leave them on all the time or it drains the battery. Okay, charge cable. Just throw that there. Nothing here, just a cardboard. And the display is really light. So you got plasma like display, shiny glass gloss, you can see how reflective it is. You can see the my Olympus pen camera in it. I'll show you how skinny it is. Here's your component, two HDMI's and a headphone jack, built in sub. The only thing, it doesn't have uh, holes for wall mount. That's about it. Here's your AC adapter. And yeah, that's the unboxing. I will show you the menu design and everything else and see if I see if my Sony remote works with it because it does not come with a remote. But it does have an IR emitter built in that will take remotes. So we'll take a look at this way when I set it up. Thank you.